Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad. A neighbor asked me to come take a look at their freezer because she had some frost build up on the inside and you can see it's really bad and it's usually because oxygen is getting into the freezer and, per and uh, creating this frost so it covers everything in here and the worse it builds up the more problems it causes. The frost is caused by the door not sealing properly so the most likely culprit is that something is either lodged behind the door or the seal itself is worn out. I can see this side looks like it's sealed good, but I'll show you a couple of ways to check and see if it's sealing. And on this side, I can already tell that this is not lining up correctly. You can see the door is not closing properly. Um, I can see back in here that I can reach my whole fingers inside. I can pull it open from the side here. So when I pull out this door here, I can see that there's some ice build up right here that is hitting on the door right here. That could be the main reason why it's not closing. That could have been a build up from one of their kids leaving the door unlocked at, some, at one time. And this could be the whole reason why it's still occurring. So let's try to get this off of here and then we'll see if the door shuts completely. It's hard to get a good angle on what I'm doing, but I just have a, a butter knife and I'm gonna scrape that ice off of there. Make sure I get it all off of there so the door will close smoothly. And see if that's our problem. I'm gonna clean off the inside part of the door as well. Now I'm going to shut the door again and see if it closes completely. Uh, the door is still not closing completely on this side. And I wonder if the tracks that the door rides on might be bent. A lot of times kids will lean or stand on this part because they want to reach something higher. And it bends these tracks right here. When these tracks get bent, it makes it so that the door will no longer close correctly. I did a video of this, but I also cleaned off the ice on the track and the highlighted portion of this photo. I think this really attributed to the door not closing properly. You can do the dollar bill test on these type refrigerators because there's supposed to be a good seal between here and here. So if you put a dollar bill in and shut it, it should pull a little bit as you're pulling it out. I let you know you're getting a good seal. So that side's fine. But if we come over here to this side and put our dollar bill in, nothing is holding it. I can actually go in and out with it. So it's still an issue on this side. And even if I push in on it, it still doesn't lock. So the next possible culprit is that something fell in behind everything. All right, I'm going to remove the top drawer from the freezer by lifting up on the front, pull it all the way out, lift up on the front, and it disengages from the tracks, and then it just lifts right out. Now I'm going to remove this bottom drawer. actually does reverse where I slide it backwards a little bit first and then lift it out. And see if it shuts better with nothing in it. Now it's sealing good. So maybe something was caught in the track because now it's sealing good. I can't slide the bill up or down. Go again this way. Still good here. Good over here. So let's put everything back together and see what we got. All right, so slide the front lip under first. 
when that settles in. Let's try closing it. Try a dollar bill with just the bottom. Steel ceiling. Let's put the top back in. The top needs to sit back in there on the rack, lift it up to get it started. Now it slides freely. Locked into place. Check our seal. And it's sealing much better. Through this process, something could have thawed that was preventing it from closing on this side because it seems to be sealing fine now. I hope you found this video helpful. I checked with the homeowner and two weeks later there was still no frost build up in the freezer. This was a combination of a, one of her children leaving the freezer open too many times and ice building up over time. After removing the ice, the drawers began closing completely and the freezer was sealed off so that moisture and oxygen could not get into the freezer to cause the ice. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the button now to subscribe. Click on any of the videos showing on the screen now if you'd like to see some of the other ones I've recorded. Hope you guys have a great day.